Rule 3.7, pretrial. Pretrial attorneys should know these rules. 3.7a, the defense will argue the motion first, they bring the motion, so of course they argue first. 3.7b talks about the time that they have. You have four minutes for your main argument and two minutes of rebuttal. During argument and rebuttal, the judge can stop you and ask you questions and you'll have to respond. During those responses, you're off the clock. Three point seven C. There are no objections during pretrial argument. I've never heard one made, but that's a really good one for you to know if something strange happens and the other pretrial attorney makes an objection. Rule three point seven C. There are no objections during pretrial argument. The proper place to argue about a rule violation, if the other person had an objection or thought there was a rule violation, would be in the thirty seconds following the entire pretrial argument portion when the judge is supposed to stop and give you 30 seconds to confer with your, your attorney coaches about whether there was a violation of rules and to deal with that at that time. Rule 3.7e, if pretrial people go look at other supplemental materials to learn more about the issues, that's fine, but they can't cite to any other supplemental materials during their argument. They have to stick with what is provided in the pretrial case packet and the rules there, as well as what's allowed to be used in pretrial that year. Some years it's just a portion of some of the statements. Other years the pretrial can argue anything in the packet. You have to read what it is that year. 3.7G goes through the only three th motions allowed in mock trial are pretrial motion and motions to strike testimony, which is during the trial, and motions entering exhibits into evidence. 3.7G 